All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the artboard tool. So let's click on this little icon here, which is like a document icon with a little uh, line in the upper left-hand corner going vertical and horizontally, right? So if I hit the letter A, that'll pop up the artboard tool, or I can just click on the icon, okay? And now you're gonna notice that over here on the right-hand side, um, it opens up this little panel here of a whole bunch of options. So you can select the iPhone 11 artboard, iPhone Pro 11 Pro artboard, iPhone 6, 7, 8 Plus artboard, iPhone 6, 7, 8, iPhone 5 SE, iPad, iPad Pro 10.5, iPad Pro 11 inches, iPad Pro 12.9 inches, watch 38 millimeters, 40 millimeters, 42, and then 44 millimeters. Then we have Google, so we have Android Mobile, Android Tablet, Android Wear, and then Microsoft, so the Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro, Pro 4, 5, and 6, and then the Web 1280, 1366, and Web 1920 by 1080. So what are these and why, why do I need to utilize the artboard tool? for what what's the point of the artboard tool basically so basically the idea of the artboard tool is this is let's say that you want to design and this is strictly designing we're not doing uh, any development in this course we're only designing so in design what you want to do is you want to design for multiple devices so you want to design for the iphone 11 the iphone pro 11 Pro, the 8 Plus, the 8, and the iPhone 5, okay? And then let's say, well, okay, we want to also design for the iPad, the iPad Pro, 10.5, 11, and 12.9. So basically what you're going to do using the artboard tool is you can design for each device, okay? And you can see what it would look like on each device, okay? And that's really what Adobe XD is for, is it gives you the ability to preview your artboard as a mobile device. So if I go right here, device preview, right? I click on that, and you can connect your iOS or Android device to XD via USB to preview your designs and prototypes in real time. So you could literally connect your device and then view one of these on your phone so you could see what it looks like, okay? But if you don't have a device, and in this case, I don't have a device that I can preview at the moment. I, I do have a, a Google phone, but I don't have the, um, it doesn't have a USB on it. It has a USB-C, I believe it's called. Don't hold me to that. But the point is, if you don't have a device like I don't, you can still preview the device. So if I click up here, desktop preview, okay, um, we can see, and let's select this one, and then we'll preview that. Okay, so you can see what the preview looks like, okay, and that's just this device. So that's our that's our desktop version, right? Then if we have the iPhone version, if I hit preview, now I can see what it looks like on the iPhone. 11 or the XR, okay? It gives me a real-time preview. Or if I do the iPhone 11 Pro and I hit play, now I can preview that. So this is the power of Adobe XD, okay? Is that you can design and prototype right from here, okay? Um, so that's a great thing about this program and the artboard is not only do they give you a lot of templates to work with, in terms of Apple devices, Google devices, Microsoft, and the web, but it gives you the ability to prototype. And the good thing about it is they don't give you a lot of sizes to work with, so it's a very um, simple template size, right? So it's very specific devices that you can design for, but really these are kind of the standard sizes anyways, because Here's the thing, and, and I'm a developer and a designer, so I understand both sides. Um, what you want to do is when you design, 
you're not really thinking about the development side. Okay. Um, I know that for a fact that people don't, when they design something, they don't care about the functionality. They just want to design something cool looking. And I'm totally for that. I understand. And being on both sides of the spectrum, you know, being a designer and also being a web developer, I understand that sometimes that's a conflict. But when you're doing this and you're designing, you don't need to think like a developer. You need to think like a designer. And think of the user experience, okay? Think of what the user is going to experience when they're going through this application or website and then design it that way. Design it for the user. But also remember, keep in mind that you want to design it for mobile devices first. You want to optimize the mobile experience to replicate the desktop experience as much as you can. Because you're going to notice when you use apps and websites that are mobile, mobile websites, that sometimes they take some of the features out and that's because of the optimization. You have to do that. But the artboard is a very important part of Adobe XD. And as we go through the course here and do a project, keep, we're going to do a few projects, um, you're really going to see the, the powerful uses of the artboard tool. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.